I'm ruined. After everything I've done, being the goblin, losing my company, and Harry. Oh, Harry, my boy. But now that damned goblin is finally gone. For once I am Norman Osborn. I could fix my life if they just gave me a second chance. That's all I need, for God's sake. Norman. Huh? Norman Osborn, the Green Goblin. What the hell is happening? Hell, that's so precise, dear. Wh what are you? Your second chance, Goblin. But if your mortal shell needs a name, I am Mephisto. My name is Norman Osborn. No. Norman was a great businessman. He had the whole world in the palm of his hands. Once the head of Oscorp, the first page in all important magazines. And most importantly, happy. But now, you're a mere copy of who you once were. A failure. Wouldn't you like to be that man again, Norman? What will it cost me? At first, nothing. Life will go on as we've never met. But things will start to change for you. Your fortune and fame will turn around you. You will have everything you ever wanted. And all it will cost you is your soul. This will be the best contract you will ever sign in this existence. Do you have a pen? Good evening, folks. I'm John Jonah Jameson, Jr. You probably heard me saying that Spider-Man was a menace. Well, at the time, I was right. Spider-Man was a menace. But everything changed when the superhuman civil war happened. We all found out that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Parker worked for my paper, the Daily Bugle, as a photographer. He's a good kid, and, uh... He's a hero. Spider-Man is a hero. I just couldn't see it. So if you think that Spider-Man is a criminal, well, think again. Because if you're feeling safe, it's because Spider-Man is out there beating those bad guys' asses. Meanwhile, all you are doing is sitting on your ass watching TV or whatever. To the recent news, the Secretary of Defense, Norman Osborn, announces that he is building up a new group of registered superhumans to work for the government. Are you sure about this, Sergei? Yes, brother. I have terminal cancer. How long do you still have left? Weeks. Maybe months. I'm sorry to hear that. And what will you do in the meantime? All my life, I've been hunting every type of living being. But I still feel an emptiness in my heart. I haven't told you about this before because you've never had any interest in this. But I've received a very important call again. 
a bounty to hunt. Spider-Man. The war crawler. Yes. Perhaps this might fill your empty heart, brother. Indeed. I must battle and defeat my greatest enemy. Or else everything that has gone before is but a hollow mockery. Perhaps it's time for one last hunt. So, how's everything in school, Miles? Jeff, give him a break like you in peace. What? I'm just trying to talk to him. It's okay, Mom. You can ask him about studies later. Uh, when, dear? Every time I try to talk to him, he's out with that friend of his. What's his name again? Genki. Right, Genki. I never liked him. What? Why? He calls me by my first name. Oh, come on, Dad. All units, Rhino is assaulting the Apex National Bank. Requesting backup. Over. Well, duty calls. Right, let's go. I will never get used to it. You wanna ride? Nah, I will just web slink there. Right, see you then. Say safe, Mujito. Three years. I can't believe she's been gone this long. At least they are together now. Wherever they are. You're right, MJ. She lived your life, and it's time to move on with ours. You know what's funny? I was afraid that revealing my identity would put you all in harm. But she ended up dying of cancer instead of... I don't know, Doc Ock's arms or Venom's claws. You protected all of us, Peter. You still do. All units. Rhino is assaulting the Apex National Bank. Requesting backup. Over. MJ, I gotta go. Go get them, Tiger. Take care, both of you. Thanks to you, I've come to accept something I learned long ago. With great power comes great responsibility. And there goes Spider-Man. Get out of the building and put your hands in the air! Take cover! What's up, Rhino? Ouch. That hurt. You are mine now. I don't think so. Hello there, Spider-Man. Uh, hi. You know... You and I need to talk about some things, but first we take down Rhino. Yeah. Hello, tiny spiders. Hey, Alexei. How are you doing? Back on assaulting banks, huh? I must admit I'm disappointed. Shut up. Theater! Ah. Ugh. Damn. Someone wrote down the license plate. Spider-Man, thanks for taking down Rhino. We will take it from here now. It's good to see you two rubbing together. Hey, are you okay? I think so. Anyway, now let's get out of here before the press shows up. We are going to talk. Okay. Fascinating. So, uh, I think that started with the wrong foot. I mean, we were definitely in over our heads during all that civil war thing, and I never meant to disrespect you, I just... I know. It's okay, Miles. Wait, really? I mean, it was very disrespectful calling me old man. I was 24 during that time. Sorry? Never mind that. Everything is fine now. So you are cool with that? Truly, I need to thank you. For what? You know, for keeping it going. Being Spider-Man means doing everything you can to save everyone. Even if it means sacrificing your own happiness. 
My uncle once told me, With great power comes great responsibility. How do you know that? I read your comic books. Really? They put that in there? Yeah, in your origin story. Wow. At least I earn a lot of money with all this publicity now. Um, can I... Can I ask you one more thing? Sure. What is it? Do I have your... You know, your... My blessing? Absolutely. Daddy! Hey there, young lady. How was school today? It was nice. You saved the world again? Yes, me and my friend Miles. Miles, this is my daughter, Mayday. And this is Mary Jane Watson Parker. But I guess that you already know that. Miles reads my comic books. Nice. Hey, Miles, it's nice to finally meet you. Same, Mrs. Parker. Please, call me MJ. Hey, I have something to give to you. I mean, I have a lot of things that I want to give to you, but here. It's a comm device. So whenever you need me, now I'm just one call away. Nice. Thank you, Peter. No problem, Miles. I'm just glad to finally meet you. Properly, this time. Same, man. Damn, it's my mom. I gotta go, man. It's okay. We can talk more some other time. It was a pleasure to meet you all. Bye. Bye, Miles. He is a good kid. So, what about we eat some wheat cakes now? Wheat cakes are yucky. That's my girl. How many cameras? Only three, as you requested. Good. I don't even know how to thank you for this opportunity. Nonsense. When is it airing? Tonight. We will be live in most parts of the country. Is there anything off the limits? Did you get the list of questions? I did. So you better just stick to that. Okay. Let's get this over with. No one Osborne is here of us tonight. Exclusively. All of a sudden, it feels like this is Norman Osborne's world, and we're just living in it. I so hope that's not true, eh? Well, it's an incredible meteoric rise to power anyway. A lot of trust has been put on me, but now I have to go and earn that trust. Every day. But that's what this country needs. Okay, now I have to ask you. There's been some information after you appointed as Secretary of Defense. In the past, you were a supervillain known as the Green Goblin. Is that true? Yes, it's true. I was the Green Goblin. This is something I am trying to put behind me. And I do wish it never happened. I was a very ill man. I was suffering from a severe chemical imbalance. All of this is known fact. Anyone can read the headline on any edition of the Daily Bugle over the last few years. But what is not being said is that I sought and received help. I am cured. I am no longer this green goblin. Obviously, I am not. As you can see, I am a well man. When I was at my worst, I would pray that I would have a second chance. And look, look where I am now. Well, I think this was good enough. Thank you for giving us this exclusive interview, Mr. Osborne. Mr. Osborne, I have news. I expect them to be good. It's about Spider-Man's bounty. Spider-Man? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob. This laughter is getting worse. Every time I hear his name, it triggers something inside of me. Now, go on. What is the news? Craven accepted the offer. Good. Keep me updated.
Hey, Miles, what's up? Hello, Spider-Man. Craven? Alive and breeding. Where's the kid? He is safe. For now. If you lay a hand on him... If you want to help your friend, meet me at 95 Forest Hills Avenue. Come alone. Fine. See you soon, Spider-Man. Craven! Where is Miles? He is safe. Somewhere else. Why are you doing this, Craven? Spider-Man, I have shown much appreciation for you. Give me what I desire. One last duel, old Krona. The last hunt. Defeat me, and I will tell you where your friend is. How can I trust you? After all these years, you surely know that I'm a man of my word. And I give you my word. I will tell you where your friend is, if you defeat me. Fine. Oops, I think I broke your spear, Craven. <laughs> you never disappoint me, Wall Crawler. Give up, Craven. You can't defeat me. I can endure the frustration no longer. I must defeat you! Maybe next time. Now it's over. Huh? A rifle, Cravey? I thought they weren't your style. You've always wanted to crush me with your bare hands. Honor will be restored. It is done. Spider-Man is no more. And so ends Craven's last hunt. I've defeated my ultimate prey. And now I have nothing else to live for. Mr. Osborne, it's done. Leave. No. <laughs> <laughs> MJ. Have you found Miles? Not yet. Craven shot and trapped me. When I freed myself, he was gone already. Are you hurt? Just a bit. Nothing to worry about. But I need your help to find Miles. Okay. What should I do? See if you can track the device I gave him. Craven probably left the device at the same place he kept Miles. Okay, will do. Huh? I'm sorry, but do I know you? Don't you recognize your greatest foe? 
Don't you recognize the one who took the life of the first person that you loved? Goblin? In the flesh. <laughs> what happened to you, Norman? I thought that you were healed. And now you look even worse. This is the day of reckoning, Parker. I'm delivering Inferno's message. I don't think so. I will destroy your family. I will kill everyone you love. Just like I killed Gwen Stacy. Shut up! Peter! Oh my god, we have to get you to a hospital. I'll call 911. It's... okay. Peter... Miles, promise me. You will protect them. All of them. Promise? I promise. Peter, just... just hold on. Don't you see? It's okay. No, it's not. MJ, I love you. I will always love you. I love you too. Tell Mayday I love her. No! <laughs> oh god. No, no, please no. Oh god. Please, please no. Hey, Miles. How have you been? I'm okay. Are you? It's been a week since... since Peter is gone and no one saw the other Spider-Man helping the neighborhood. What's wrong? You can tell me. It's just... I'm not worthy to wear the suit. I... I couldn't help Pete because I was in a cage and now he's dead. That's all because of me. It's not your fault, Miles. If it wasn't you that he captured, it could have been me or Mayday or even Jameson. Pete always knew the dangers he was dealing with when he wore that costume. And he knew that you would fill in his shoes when he was gone. What if I can't? I know Pete better than anyone else. If he believed in you, I'm damn sure that you can. And you will. What is this? A little gift that Pete made for you. He wanted to give it to you sooner, but he never had the chance. I hope to see you soon, Spider-Man.
So, what's the plan now? With Normans gone, we lost the leader of our little society. We will move on. As of now, I am in charge of the cabal. 